Hey, hey, Mark Rodriguez here. We're getting closer and closer to the end of the King of Fighters Destiny. So we got Team Japan, Kyo, Benimaru, and Goro crawling through the vent trying to figure out where to go next in Regal's cruise ship. We got Team Italy, or the Lone Wolves, which is Terry, Andy, and Joe. They're going through the maze, but the maze has these walls that open up and close up and whatever else. It's very confusing. And they get split up and they get attacked by Team England or the women's team that are possessed by the Dark Crystals and Orochi Power. So Maya goes after Andy, Yuri attacks Joe and actually knocks him out, and Terry's about to get attacked by King with her deadly venom strike. And then we go to Billy Khan telling Rugal about how Geese Tower got blown up and how Geese Tower is now gone. And at the same time, he also tells him about Hyder. So Regal's like, Hyder, eh? You know, that kind of thing. And yet, Hyder's around. Hyder and Ralph and Clark were also in the main somewhere, too. We gotta see what else they're up to. And also, um, now we go back to Team China going up against Team Korea. So Athena's kind of powering up her Shining Crystal bit. But by now, Kensu and Chin are taken out. They're knocked out by Team Korea, which is Kim Kapon, Chang, and Choi, and with Athena stuck in her defensive position, still charging up the Shining Crystal bit, Team Korea is slowly approach or are slowly approaching her, and we'll see what happens next. So this episode is apparently going to be another flashback episode about King, and it's interesting because this episode is about as long as the others. Usually the flashback episodes are kind of short, so this is, like, I guess, like a normal length episode, so I'm kind of curious about that. I really hope you do some kind of, like, Art of Fighting recreation or references. The story so far is in a lot of stuff regarding Fatal Fury, but it'd be cool to see something about Art of Fighting, or at least maybe a cameo from Mr. Big. As you guys know, Art of Fighting, you know, Yuri got kidnapped by Mr. Big, and we all Robert got to rescue her, and of course along the way to run into King, all that kind of stuff. I just can't wait. So anyways guys, let's check it out. I mean, that's more than being a bodyguard. That's more than being a fucking assassin. What the hell? And then King leaves like a like a King playing card behind. That's interesting. Oh, Mr. Big! There you go. We got Mr. Big cameo official. Oh, this is different. So they sent King after Rio, and King is the one that kidnapped Yuri. What the hell? And Yuri's wearing her fighting clothes. She's not in regular clothes yet. Where's Robert? Which is just real on his own? So King's not a bouncer. She's a, you know, she's an assassin. She's a kidnapper. Like, she's even worse. This should just be animated. You're doing so many things. It should just be an animated episode, man. It's just so weird because since in this version of the story, King, um, you know, King directly kidnapped Yuri. How did he do, like, it should have showed a bit more, I guess. Alright guys, so I guess we finally reached the Art of Fighting part of the program, which is kind of interesting. Uh, the whole series has been mostly like a retelling of the first Fatal Fury game and King of Fighters 94 kind of sort of mishmashed together. And I'm actually kind of surprised that King got her own flashback story because most of the stories have been on, you know, the characters that are have more bearing to the plot and unfortunately the art of fighting people are just kind of sort of there you know what I mean but here we got flashbacks based on Terry Bogart with the whole Phil Curry backstory you know the death of Jeff Bogart at the hands of Dees Howard we got Angelina we got Benny Maru how he got mixed up with Kyo you know stuff like that but like Kings is kind of interesting so anyways this is kind of the art of fighting story but super super condensed and a whole lot of changes here so First of all, King, despite the fact that she says she's a bodyguard, she's actually like some kind of like assassin or something. She's going around killing people for money and leaving behind a, a poker card, a, you know, a King card to like, I guess, like a calling card of sorts because King, you know? So we see that she's doing that stuff. She has her brother, John, who has some kind of like terminal disease and it's kind of, you know, he needs like an expensive surgery, which is why King is doing this kind of stuff. And then she finds out from Mr. Big with, hey, cameo, Mr. Big. So Mr. Big is offering a big payday if King does a favor for him. And in this case, King is going to kidnap Yuri to lure out Ryo and hopefully kill Ryo for Mr. Big. So that's a very big change because I don't know, I think Mr. Karate was the guy who kidnapped Yuri in the first game. But here's like King herself kidnapped Yuri. That's like a big change already. And another thing too is that Yuri's already wearing her fighting clothes in this. So I don't know if it's like laziness because... The thing is, it's a drawing though. These black are all drawn. 
So they shouldn't have to worry about the, the CGI models. They could have just drawn her regular clothes. In the first game, Yuri was still a, like a regular girl. And it was after being kidnapped that in part two, she got inspired to, to train and become a fighter and stuff like that. So it's kind of weird that they, that they did this here. So, um, you know, Ryo shows up. He beats up all the goons and gets in there. And King starts having conflict because... I mean, she's doing all this to save her brother's life, but at the same time, she's kidnapping, like, someone's sister in an attempt to kill her brother when the brother comes to rescue her, you know? So, Ryo breaks in, and King comments on, like, the, you know, strong sense of determination that he has, and she figures that if it was the other way around, if her brother John was kidnapped instead, King would also have that kind of determination to rescue him no matter what, you know? So, King and Ryo fight. And during the fight, because of course your siblings and stuff, Ryo's like, I'll rescue you, Yuri. And Yuri's like, my brother will save me. And all that sibling talk is really messing with King's head there. So Ryo hits her with a Hosho Koken and knocks her up against the wall. And before Ryo can finish her off with a punch in the face, he stops like, you know, like, like, like a mere inch from her face without punching her. And then he um, rescues Yuri. And King asks, like, like, why don't you just kill me? And Ryo's like, I don't know. I mean, for some reason... You're kind of different from the rest. Like, I can see it in your eyes, you know? So, he walks off with Yuri. I mean, it starts snowing a bit. And King remembers that you're talking with her brother. That you're going to hang out in the snow, whatever. Because, you know, hoping whenever he gets better and stuff. So, King gets determined to, I guess, live a different kind of life. And help her out, help out her brother in some other way. So, um, yeah, very big uh, change there. No Robert. It's just Ryo. And, of course, King kidnapping Yuri. And I think the biggest question is that, okay, so if King herself kidnapped Yuri, how the hell did she talk her into the tournament? You know what I mean? It's like, uh, yeah, Yuri, so, uh, I know I kidnapped you a while ago, and you're a fighter now, so I, I, I'm assuming I kind of roughed you up, so I'm going to kidnap you, and then I'm, I was going to kill your brother and all that, but, uh, hey, here's the Ready King of Fighters tournament. Want to join me? We'll just pick another girl somewhere. It'll be the three of us. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, like imagine Yuri, like, talking her in the face, first and foremost. Now, I would assume that Yuri would have some kind of, like, trust issues or some shit after being kidnapped by her directly and everything. But, um, you know. So, um, another thing also is that, at least in the game story mode, in the actual game storyline, yeah, she does, she does have a brother. Her brother is, um, you know, um, what, what do you call it, terminally ill and stuff like that. But the storyline of Art of Fighting 2... We have Ryo, I'm assuming Ryo's a hero, Ryo like wins the tournament, he defeats Mr. Big, and also Geese Howard, because Geese Howard was a hidden character in Art Fighting 2. So, after that, Ryo asks Robert, because you know, Robert's rich, to pay for the surgery, and her brother's okay. And after that, like, she turns her life around, whatever, and, and she actually sides with the Kyokugenru people in future games, and stuff like that. So here, it's not really clear, like, how she saved her brother. I'm thinking that since in some of the earlier episodes of, of this series, they were showing that she's very interested in the money and all that stuff. I'm assuming she wants the money, not so much for herself, but to save her brother. I'm assuming her brother's still sick in this case, you know. But I guess we'll find out later. Um, now that they showed this, now I'm kind of curious if they're going to go into her story, you know, as the series wraps up, if they're going to show something on how she rescues her brother. Because otherwise, why, why even put this flashback episode here, you know what I mean? And stuff, or maybe part of it, because you know, in the in the main storyline, King is is possessed and evil with the dark crystals and all that stuff. So maybe something about her brother or something will will snap her out of it or something like that. I mean, they gotta put this flashback this flashback episode in here for some reason. You know what I mean? So, anyways, guys, Mark Rodriguez here. Um, of course, these flashback episodes they're kind of sort of like in between episodes. So the next one, we still gotta see what happens. We still gotta find out what's going on with uh, my King and Yuri being possessed. And with um, Athena just gaining their powering up while Kenso and Chin are down. And Team Korea is approaching her. So we got to find out what happens with all that stuff that's going on. So, see you next time.